Hey you guys, Shelly here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a fabric haul. So I was looking through my stash and I realized I have a lot of freaking fabric here with me. And at this point, unfortunately, I know I'm not going to get through it all. But I figured I'd do a fabric haul, show you guys some of my new, sort of new, as well as a few fabrics that I brought here along with me for the ride. All fabrics that I mentioned today will be listed in the description box. And if I figured out which pattern that I'm going to use with these fabrics, I will be sharing those as well. So let's get into it. Okay, so first up we have this print here from Minerva. It's actually a Minerva exclusive pop cheetah print and I have it here in viscose chalet I'm pretty sure it also comes in a linen and maybe one other base but don't quote me on that I'm not too sure but I purchased this about three months ago because I wanted to make a dress with it I know a lot of the patterns that I have in my stash viscose chalet is usually a suggested fabric so since then i have decided on a pattern and it is this mimi g simplicity pattern 9597 and i am making view b so i'm actually almost maybe like 60 percent done with the dress i've got everything together except the bottom tiers on the skirt this portion of the skirt right here i actually haven't even cut it out which is why i have so much fabric left over here because when i initially cut it i didn't know if i wanted to have the dress go all the way to the floor as mimi g has it in the pictures for her pattern or if i wanted to make a shorter dress so as soon as i get the bodice put together i'll make that determination and finish cutting this fabric which will actually be once i've finished filming this video Okay, so next up, this fabric was purchased with the last fabric from Minerva, and this is a Charmeuse Silky Satin print. I really like this design. Usually, I stay away from flowers, but I really like this. Um, when I purchased this one, I got three and a half yards because it was on sale and I didn't know what I was going to use it for again. Usually y'all, when I buy fabric, most times, well, let's say nine times out of 10, I don't have a plan. I just buy the fabric and I figure it out later. That's probably not a good strategy to have because I end up buying a lot of fabric and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I feel like a fabric in a charmeuse silky satin would definitely get used because I often see this as a suggested fabric on a lot of the patterns I have as well. So if you guys have any suggestions on a pattern that you think will work great with this fabric, please let me know because I was hoping to get around to sewing with this this summer, but at this point I feel like I'm just gonna have to add it to a dress for a spring make for 2024. Okay, so next we have an Ankara print. And this fabric was actually purchased for me. One of my old supervisors was traveling in Colombia, I believe, and she walked up on the market and they were selling fabric. So she called me on Wi-Fi, and of course it was not very clear, but I could see the vibrance in this fabric and so I chose this one. She bought it and sent it to me. But I must say, when I chose it, I was thinking bags. I was thinking I would use this fabric to make bags. And of course, since I'm on my clothes making tip now, I kind of envisioned it as like a shirt, maybe like a crop top collared shirt with a matching skirt because to be honest, I, there is not a lot of this fabric. There's probably only about two and a half yards. I actually measured it when I first got it, but I don't remember how much it is. But I do know it's it's not quite three yards. 
So if you have any pattern recommendations, anything that match the description or the vision that I have in my head, please share with me and leave it in the comment box below. Thanks. Okay, so next up is this fabric right here which is the most recent edition I actually just purchased this one two weekends ago from a local fabric shop it is a cotton poplin fabric and it actually has just a little bit of stretch to it and I bought this specifically for my upcoming trip to Italy I'm going to Rome and it is still pretty hot in Rome so I wanted a white dress Pretty simple, very basic. And if you saw my last Friday Sews video, I showed this fabric as well as two patterns I had in mind. And a lot of you guys commented that this pattern is the way to go for this fabric. And mostly because you guys felt like this would be more appropriate for Italy than the Simplicity 9554 pattern that I also had in mind to use with this fabric. So this will be coming up very shortly. This is actually next on the chopping block once I finish Simplicity 9597. Okay, so the next three fabrics all came from Spoonflower. I ordered these back in June, and the only reason I made the Spoonflower order is to get this fabric here. So I used this fabric to make Simplicity 9618, which is the tote bag that I've shared before. And I had had this fabric in my cart for some time. I really thought it was gorgeous. So when it came time to making that bag, I immediately went back to this fabric. Because it's really colorful, I knew I already had a lot of accessories to go along with it. Plus, I like that spoon flower allows you to purchase fabrics in so many bases. Like if you like a fabric and say you want it in linen, say you want it in dogwood denim, which is what this is, or if you want it in a satin, you have that option. So I got this specifically for that bag. Okay, so moving on to another spoon flower fabric. This one here is in cotton lawn, and I hope you guys can see the design. The design is really what drew me to this fabric. The design and the color. I feel like green goes well with my complexion, so I often navigate to it. And so this one was no exception. And of course, I did not have a pattern in mind when I purchased this fabric. Um, I have since been considering making a romper. Um, hold on, I'll share the pattern with you. Okay, so here it is. Here is the pattern right here that I've considered using this cotton lawn for. It is Simplicity 8635. I'm in between doing this version or this version, but I'm undecided. I'm not really, although I like this pattern, I don't know if I wanna use this fabric for it. Suggested fabrics for this one are Batiks, Chambray's, Cotton Lawns, this fabric here, Cotton Types, Crepe de Chines, Lightweight Denim, Linen Types, Suki Types, and Plaids. But I definitely have enough fabric to make this pattern if I wanted to, but I just don't know. I'm just going to put this one on the shelf for now and I'll come back to it. All right, so lastly from Spoonflower is this gorgeous Crepe de Chine. Hopefully, hold on, sorry. Hopefully you guys can see this print. It's like a large houndstooth actually in pink and orange. No plans, I just bought it. Crepe de Chine is obviously you as you know is a very used fabric for most dresses so i got it i thought it was pretty i got it and i had a coupon for spoon flower it was either 15 or 20 percent off so i stocked up it's you know it's either buy fabric or pay shipping and maybe it's just me but i prefer to buy more fabric 
even if I'm gonna spend way more than I would have did just paying shipping. <laughs> oh yeah, but suggestions are definitely welcome for this fabric right here. Although I feel like this may be one that I do not get around to until next spring. Okay, so lastly, this is actually an older, whoops, this is actually an older fabric. I purchased this last December from Fine Fabrics in Atlanta. It is a, I don't know the exact type of fabric, but it's definitely a velvet with a little bit of stretch to it. I don't know the percentage of stretch, but it definitely, it definitely has um, some give to it this is about three and a half yards and I do have a pattern in mind for this one I'm considering making this jumpsuit this version here well at least the bodice I really like the bodice here but I'm uncertain if I want to do this wide leg pants or more the cigarette pants I think I'm leaning to this one but I really like a wide leg pants with some heels which I will definitely be wearing with this so here's another close-up of the fabric it is almost an emerald green color which I feel will be perfect for the winter time so this fabric with this pattern will definitely get made this year probably later on in the year once I get back home but this is happening all right you guys so that is a wrap for today's fabric haul please let me know what you think about my new fabrics and if you have any suggestions or ideas about which patterns you think I should use for some of the fabrics that I'm not clear on what I want to do with at this time please be so kind and leave it in the comment box below if you like this video please make sure you like this video and if you haven't already please consider subscribing and sticking around so until next time happy sewing you guys